This is a quick tutorial on how to use Clade Studio. So this is the Clade Studio dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. You can find all kinds of enhancements, editing tools and restoration tools that you can use on your images. Your first step should be to upload your image, which you can either do by clicking in this general area or by pasting the link here. Here's the photo that I like to enhance and edit. Your first option is in the restorations tab. Now, restorations have five different presets, and while we generally recommend using auto, in certain use cases such as text, so for example, if you have an image with text that you'd like to enhance, but you don't want to affect the rest of the visuals, then in that case, you'd select text. In this case, we're just going to leave it on auto and let Clade handle the rest. Below that, you have the decompression feature here. So if your image has been severely compressed, you would choose strong, and if you have like some artifacts here and there, then you can select moderate or again, just let Clade handle it by selecting auto. Below that is image resizing. So you can increase the size of your image or increase one side of it. So either the width or the height in this case by typing out specifically how many pixels you'd like. So for example, if you'd like your image to have 2000 pixels, then there you go. Or alternatively, you can use percentages. So for example, I can just put in 200 and 200 to increase the size of my photo using this. And you also have the fit options below you have five different fit options and depending on which one that you choose the software will automatically align your photo according to that option we're just going to stick with the wide side here below that are color adjustments uh, these are automatic light and color fixes that clade will apply but below that we have manual color adjustment this is where people like to get a little creative since they often like the freedom of choosing their own color and uh, contrast sharpness saturation and exposure options that where they can play around with the different settings but i think we're just going to leave them as they are background is very important especially when you're dealing with product or car images in our case we're dealing with a product image so we are going to select the product option and Clade will automatically remove the background. We can also choose to give the background some kind of a color. Now, if you are making a PNG, you can keep the background transparent as so, but just for fun, we are going to give some kind of a color to our sneakers here. There we go. We're just going to leave it as it is, uh, but what Clade can do is it can automatically align the padding so that your image is directly in the center of the canvas and we don't need to worry about additional and we simply go down to output choose the format that we'd like to um, export our image in and then use this quality slider to uh, either slide to the left or right depending on the quality of the image that we want so the higher the percentage the sharper it is and the lower the percentage the more pixelated it is click start processing and clade ai should have your image ready in a few seconds And there we go. Clade processed our image. As you can see, it removed the background and replaced it with a purple canvas. Uh, there are some very subtle light fixes as well. And of course, Clade was able to upscale the image from 1600 by 1200 to 3200 by 2400. Now, in case you need the parameters that you just adjusted here on Clade, you can simply go over to the request tab and copy all the various settings that you've changed and keep them for yourself for future use. And that's how you use Clade Studio.